Hi, this is Sean from Worldwide Stereo, and I'm here to talk to you about Sonos' brand new product release, the new Arc Ultra and Subgen 4. Let's get into it. Featuring all new breakthrough technology, the Arc Ultra soundbar and Subgen 4 brings your home entertainment to life with amazing clarity, depth, and dimension. I took these new products home and demoed them, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I liked about this soundbar, what I loved about this soundbar, and why the new Arc Ultra and Subgen 4 might be a perfect fit for you. The new Arc Ultra improves on past design by featuring an all new acoustic architecture with three additional drivers, groundbreaking sound motion technology, spatial audio, updated touch controls, Bluetooth connectivity, more advanced speech enhancement, and true play tuning for Android. The original Arc only had 11 drivers, while the new Arc Ultra has 14 with the capability of delivering theater quality audio when watching movies or concert-like audio when listening to music. The new Arc is packing a 9.1.2 Atmos signal compared to the original Arc's 5.0.2. So if the new Arc Ultra is almost the same size as the old Arc, how do they have so much more space for more drivers? The quick answer? Sonos engineers developed a lightweight speaker motor and suspension system while introducing a new speaker cone design. What does this mean? We're able to get a lot more sound out of the same size soundbar. This has also allowed Sonos to add a woofer into the Arc Ultra, creating more bass and packing a punch in a smaller package. Spatial audio is a technology that creates a three-dimensional sound experience, making audio feel as though it's coming from various directions all around you. Unlike traditional stereo sound that just comes from the left and right channels, spatial audio adds a layer of depth and realism to your favorite songs. It's immersive. While the original Arc had speech enhancement, the Arc Ultra features advanced speech enhancement, stepping up the tunability with three different levels of speech enhancement. So what is speech enhancement? Have you ever been watching a movie or television show and it's almost impossible to hear what they're saying when they talk, so you turn the system up and then an action sequence happens and you wake the whole neighborhood up and you gotta turn it back down? And it's this constant back and forth, up and down and up and down. What speech enhancement does is it allows you to turn up just the dialogue of what they're saying so that you can easily hear what they're saying. Then when that action sequence happens, it doesn't wake up the whole neighborhood and you can enjoy the movie or the show that you're trying to watch. Let's get into controls and connectivity. A single HDMI eARC connection keeps connectivity simple and enables high quality audio playback. Like the original Arc, the Arc Ultra has Wi-Fi and AirPlay 2, but Sonos has also added Bluetooth and Spotify Connect to the new Arc Ultra, which makes it even easier to stream music in your home. The new Sonos Arc still uses Sonos' calibration software TruePlay to calibrate the room. To do so, it's gonna have you utilize your cell phone by taking it out of the case, using the microphone and waving your hand up and down to calibrate the room. If you know, you know. Once completed, every seat in the room is gonna be like the sweet spot. Previously, you could only do the calibration with an iPhone, whereas with the new Sonos Arc Ultra, it allows you to be able to calibrate the room with an Android. New touch controls on top of the soundbar allow you to play, pause, adjust volume, and group speakers. And with the Sonos app, you'll get more control and tunability for the Arc Ultra, including speech enhancement levels, bass, treble, speaker grouping, as well as your favorite music content. And if you want to go completely hands-free, the Arc Ultra also has voice control, which will allow you to control volume, speech enhancement, and request music from all your favorite streaming services. What I like about Sonos is that it's an a la carte type of purchase. You don't have to buy the whole package at once. You can start with the soundbar, add the subwoofer down the road, and eventually add rears into the system, completing the full surround sound package. There is also a new wall mount available. It mounts to all wall materials, is reverse compatible with the original Arc, and allows for cables to go directly behind the product and through the wall for a very clean install. My experience with the new Sonos Arc Ultra and Subgen 4 is pretty simple. It's awesome. The first thing that I noticed that was that the speech was so much clearer than my traditional surround system. Normally, I have to have my home system at about 60% volume when we're watching TV or movies to hear everything that they're saying, whereas with the new Arc Ultra, I only had it at about 25% and it was perfectly clear and crisp. The other thing that I really liked is that I have a large living room, so I was worried that a soundbar wouldn't really be able to fill the space adequately. That was not an issue at all with this soundbar. It filled the whole room beautifully. The other thing that I noticed is it had fantastic bass. Now, I actually paired up two subwoofers in my system because I wanted to hear what it sounded like, but I also demoed this without a subwoofer. 
Standalone sounds very, very good, but with the two subwoofers, really chef's kiss. Another key feature that I really liked about the Arc Ultra was the spatial audio. My wife and I did an Elton John demo of Rocket Man, and we could actually hear him overhead coming through the Atmos speakers when we were listening to music, which was really cool. This is the new Sonos Sub Gen 4, which is replacing the Gen 3. The original Sonos Sub launched in 2012, showcasing deep bass, iconic design, and the ease of use that has only been improved upon over the years. Compared to the Sub Gen 3, the Sub 4 has been refreshed internally, getting more processing power and more memory, as well as externally with an all new matte finish that many customers have been asking for. If you're a bass guy like me, I would absolutely recommend adding a second subwoofer into your system to give you that extra power that you're looking for. You can learn more about this product online at WorldWideStereo.com or stop by our Montgomeryville showroom and take a listen for yourself. If you have any feedback or questions, start the conversation in the comments section below, or you can always give us a call. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all our latest products and videos. This is Sean from WorldWide Stereo. I look forward to seeing you in our Montgomeryville showroom.